Hello guys and welcome on back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. This is a channel all about my life with type 1 diabetes. Some tips, some tricks, some reviews, that type of thing. And speaking of reviews, that's what we're going to be doing today. So welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. So today we're going to talk Dexcom G6 versus Freestyle Libre. Compare the two, what do they have in common, what are their differences, and which one comes out on top. Before I go any further, let me tell you that I have time stamped everything down below. So if you're looking for a specific topic, say for example accuracy, just go down into the description box and there'll be a time stamp for when accuracy is covered within this video. And furthermore, if you want to see both of these systems be reviewed in more detail, I have done review videos, several of them on my channel, so I will link those up above and also pop them down below in the description box. So to give you a little backstory as to my personal experience with these two devices, I was on the Freestyle Libre for nine months and I have been on the Dexcom G6 for the past two years. So what are we talking about? What are these things? Well, they are both ways to measure your blood glucose without having to do a finger stick. So both of these systems consist of a patch that sits on top of the skin and a filament that sits under the skin and that filament reads your interstitial fluid, which is not your blood, so it's not reading your blood sugar, but it is reading a fluid that has a very good indicator when used with the right algorithms and all that sort of thing to tell you where your blood sugar first of all is and where it's trending. And speaking of trending, both will tell you what your blood sugar currently is and where it's headed. So they both have arrow systems that can predict future readings. So for example, if you're moving in a really rapid downward trajectory, you might get one or two arrows down on the Dexcom app. If you're running in a slightly low trend, you might get a side arrow going down in both, that type of thing. Both require no finger stick calibrations, so they both claim to be absolutely no finger stick involvement whatsoever. And with the Dexcom, you can calibrate. So if you were to see a reading that was off and you wanted to tell your system, hey, you're off, this is what my actual blood sugar is, you can do that on the Dexcom G6. You cannot do that on the Freestyle Libre. Both from my perspective have awesome customer service. I'm in the UK, I know American accent, but I live in the UK, so I have experienced both customer service teams and can really only say glowing things about both of them. I know that's just a personal experience. You might not have the same, but from my perspective, they have both been awesome. Both work with an app on your phone, and through this app, you are able to share your readings with other people, say loved ones, parents with children, that sort of thing. And last but by no means least, both of these systems have very, very easy insertion processes. I always say if you can put a sticker on your skin and press a button, you know how to do it. So we've had a look at the commonalities between these two systems, the overarching similarities that they have, but now let's get into the nitty gritty and what are the differences. Reminder again, check that description box if you wanna find a specific topic that you can jump to now. Otherwise, here we go. To start off, and this is huge, the Dexcom G6 is a continuous glucose monitor, otherwise known as a CGM. The Freestyle Libre is a flash glucose monitor, otherwise known as FGM. So what that means is the Dexcom G6 is constantly pushing data every five minutes to your given device. Either you're using a reader with the Dexcom G6 or you're using your phone. Whereas with the flash glucose meter aspect of the Freestyle Libre, you have to initiate the getting of the information via a swipe of the device on the back of your arm. So I say these two systems have a lot in common, but actually, my goodness, this is a huge differentiating factor. Now with Freestyle Libre, when you scan, you see your historical data since you last scanned, for example, but you do not see that until you initiate the scan to get the information. Whereas the Dexcom G6 is constantly pushing that to your device. And as a result with the Dexcom G6, you can get alarms akimbo on this, all customizable, whereas on the Freestyle Libre, you cannot. 
Now, there are pros and cons for both of these ways of obtaining the information, but I do think it's very important to note that this is a huge divergence that you'll be able to see when we go through these six topics that I'm going to cover now. So first up, wear time. The Dexcom G6 is approved for a 10-day wear time, the Freestyle Libre for a 14-day wear time. Now, though this might sound like Freestyle Libre wins all day long in this category, in my opinion, it does not. And that is because it's really hard to get your Freestyle Libre to go for 14 days. I have experienced this myself and anecdotally through comments on my review and stuff like that. This is why I've experienced Freestyle Libre's customer care team so much because I would call and say, hey, it's day eight and my CGM is totally crapped out. And they would tell me, okay, we'll send you out another one, which was great but it was a bit of a hassle and a bother to continually call customer service and it made me feel a little bit like mm, is it really a 14 day wear time if i'm sort of constantly having to get replacements that gave me hesitation whereas with the dexcom g6 i've had one sensor in my two years stop early and again i was able to call and they sent out a replacement so customer service great on both fronts but very important to note 10 day versus 14 day yes but there's some important things to note there next up let's talk cost so for one month of full-time wear and just a reminder this is in the uk i know in other countries it's different because of insurance which i will talk about but for one month in the UK, it is £159 to be on the Dexcom full-time wear and roughly £100 to be on the Freestyle Libre full-time wear. So that is over one month. So let's talk pump integration. Do either of these systems integrate with an insulin pump system? The Dexcom G6 integrates with two different pumps, the Tandem T-Slim X2 and the Omnipod tubeless patch pump. The Freestyle Libre does not integrate with any insulin pumps. If you want to use the Freestyle Libre, it's got to be through the app on your phone or the reader. That's the only way you're going to be able to access information. So what about the apps? Both of these systems are supported by apps on smartphones in general, both Android and iOS. Now both of these systems can be used totally independently of phones via their dedicated readers. However, chances are if you're using these devices, you're going to be using it with your smartphone. With Freestyle Libre, it all comes in one app. You do your scanning and you get your information via this way. Now, there's a variety of things you can do. You can get 14-day averages, 90-day averages. You can generate reports for your doctor through the, this app as well. It's great. It's very, very great. Now with the Dexcom, you have two apps, one that does the reading and another one that does the digestion of data. Now the Dexcom G6, it just comes out on top for so many reasons. The digestion of data is more complicated than I can even explain to you, but what I can tell you is I can hand it to a doctor and they can be like, oh wow, this is great. We need this, we need this, we need this. They can generate the reports and they're very happy with the data. So not only is it great for the user, as in I can generate things through the Dexcom Clarity app, and that's the name of the app, that I can, you know, be able to make my basal rate adjustments or whatnot on my pump, but to be honest with you, it goes so much further beyond that, and I've been able to witness that firsthand in that my doctor goes, oh yeah, we need this, we need this, we need this standard deviation, stuff like that, you know, lingo that I don't even exactly understand most of the time, but the doctors have been very, very happy with the ability to generate those reports. Now with the Freestyle Libre, I also thought it was great because I was able to understand what it was generating and also make basal rate adjustments based on that. But the Clarity app wins out for me all day long and therefore I would, I would rate these two in terms of ease of use of the app to see your current blood sugar as head on each other, basically equals. But then when you get to that generation of information and the apps that are able to do that and integrate the information into it and generate reports, 
it's Dexcom wins out all day long with the Clarity app, which was kind of about a year, year and a half ago it was introduced, and it's just, to me, it, it, it added so much value to the system that didn't cost a penny extra. And lastly, but most, most, most important of all, let's talk accuracy. Okay. There are two ways I'm going to talk about accuracy here. I'm going to talk about it from a scientific scale, and I'm going to talk about it from a personal anecdotal scale. There is such a thing called a marred scale, which is, let me read it off here, mean absolute relative difference. That is basically how a CGM's data compares to blood glucose data given from a finger stick, which is sort of the gold standard of blood sugar measurement. So on the MARD scale, the Dexcom wins out. It has a much higher rating on the MARD scale, especially in the higher levels of hyperglycemia and in the lower levels of hypoglycemia. It's really able to perform well within both of those extremes, which is very, very impressive and important if you're a person that has a fear of lows or you're a person that is running high all the time and you want to be able to interrupt that high and get in sooner rather than later before it gets out of control. That's a very, very basic comparison that I think is interesting to bring up because I can talk about my opinion or things that I've read or comments that I've had on those videos, but really when it gets down to the science of it, that's kind of, I think, a good piece to bring into this. Now, from my personal perspective, what is more accurate? Again, Dexcom G6 all day long. I first, my first ever experience with a glucose monitor that did not involve finger sticking was the Freestyle Libre. And I thought, wow, this is really cool. It shows me trends. It's not always accurate, but I know it's not like supposed to be always spot on. And um, this is amazing. Then I started on the Dexcom G6 and I was like, oh, this is like not, this isn't trends. This is, this is my, my blood glucose. Like when I was doing finger sticks to compare, more often than not, it was like dead on or so close, it was nominally different. So I didn't even realize the importance of accuracy until I switched to a system that was super duper accurate. Now, that being said, I had pretty good luck on the Freestyle Libre in terms of accuracy. Uh, yeah, sometimes when my blood sugar was moving really quickly, it wasn't very accurate. and. I'd get a lot of sort of one-off strange wange readings, but I thought, well, that's sort of just part of the game because it's reading your interstitial fluid. It's not a blood sugar from your finger stick. So I get it. I accept it. But then when I went to the Dexcom G6, I was like, ah, this, this is, this is what accuracy is. So that being said, from a personal anecdotal standpoint, the Dexcom G6 wins out one million trillion bajillion percent. Also, I have had a lot of not so great comments on my Freestyle Libre video talking about people that have had wild inaccuracies and stuff like that. Now, that is not to be confused with fact. We all know people are usually more vocal when things are going wrong than when things are going great. So that is probably more skewed in that comment section towards the negative, whereas I don't know what the overall anecdotal evidence would be. But for me, that's what I've, I've witnessed and I can relate to. Although again, I had pretty good luck on the Freestyle Libre. It wasn't wildly inaccurate, but it wasn't super duper accurate either. So what are my final thoughts? Well, it all comes down to basically one big overall thing and a couple other side things. The big overall is accuracy. There is no point in having a system that isn't accurate. In fact, a system that isn't accurate is damaging because it's actually giving you false information that you may or may not act on and that may or may not have detrimental effects if you do act on it. 
So for example, if your Freestyle Libre is telling you you're 160, but you're actually 90, and you take a slug of insulin appropriate for 160, but you're 90, it's going to send you into a low. And that is a huge problem. I always say an inaccurate CGM is so much worse than no CGM at all. Because at least if you're on finger sticks, you know you're flying blind until you take another finger stick. Whereas on a CGM that's inaccurate, you can be kind of lulled into this false sense of security because you're getting information, but if that information isn't accurate and you're using that information to make decisions on and dosing insulin and carbohydrates on, well, that's going to lead you into further inaccuracies that will again not be represented if your system is inaccurate and you don't take a blood sugar to know that that is the case. When it comes to CGM, if you can, it's so important to just prioritize that accuracy piece. And for me, I've dealt with a few CGM systems, but really these two are the only ones that I've spent a significant amount of time on and the Dexcom G6 wins out for me over all those systems and not just a little bit, like a huge amount. Now I told you that these two systems diverge because one is continuous glucose and one is flash glucose and that is the second big point that leads me to the alarms. So if your child is a type 1 diabetic and you want to get alerted if their blood sugar is going low at night or you yourself are an adult type 1 diabetic and you want to be alerted if your blood sugar is going low at night or high at night or what have you, then the only system that you're going to be able to achieve that with is the Dexcom G6 because the Freestyle Libre, you've got to initiate those scans. And unless you're able to do that in the middle of the night, it ain't happening. Uh, so for me, the other big one, and this is a personal choice, is I want those alarms. And they're highly, highly customizable, so it's not like it's beeping and bopping all over the place if you don't want it to. But at the same time, that overnight thing is really, really important to me for peace of mind. But again, that's a very specific personal desire I have. I want a CGM that is going to offer me alarms, whereas you might. And another thing is, I want a CGM that is pushing the information to me. Whereas if you're the type of person that likes to control when and how you're accessing your information, but you don't want to do a finger stick, then maybe the Freestyle Libre is the right system for you. It would just be a matter of maybe seeing how well it works on your body because that accuracy piece is very important. The Dexcom G6 does not win out on price. Now you could argue that you're getting so much more with this system and therefore I personally would be willing to pay more for that, but I understand it's not within everybody's budget. That is an issue with the Dexcom G6 system when you compare it to the Freestyle Libre. It just really depends on where your priorities are at and where your budget lies. And another important side note is if you are dealing with an insurance company and you commit to either the Freestyle Library or the Dexcom G6 or any other variety of systems out there, and then you decide you want to switch, these insurance companies apparently can make it very difficult for you to make a switch. So if you are doing your research, really, really do it thoroughly before you make that kind of commitment to jump with your doctor because as far as I understand it, it's very difficult to kind of change your mind. Not impossible, but very, very difficult. And you know difficult in the world of insurance is like, no. So there we have it. That has been my review of the Dexcom G6 versus the Freestyle Libre. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. And if you have any other questions, I'll meet you down in the comments section. Also, let me know, are you on one of these two systems? What have you found to be better? Have you tried them both? Are you on a different system entirely that you think I should try? Let me know. With that being said, I wish you all a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Great blood sugars, straight CGM lines, accurate CGMs, and all of that good stuff. But always, I say at the end of my videos, and most importantly, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in your CGM search, and I'll see you next time.